Hi everyone, it's Ms. K. I want to go over the response paper assignment in this eight week accelerated semester. Going into the content area, into the course information module and the syllabus, you'll find an overview for the assignment here. Be sure to read this. This is your jumping off point. Returning to D2L. If you click here on the content tab, it will open up the table of contents for the entire semester in all of the weekly modules. We'll click on week one. There are two ways you can access the items within a weekly module. You can open the entire module and see the table of contents here, learning guide, checklist, lecture, support materials, assignments, or you can click on the first item, take two, or you can click on the first item and use the toggle arrows to tab through the items in chronological order. It's really important you should be looking at all of these items in chronological order, starting with the learning guide, the checklist. In this class, you will be doing your assigned reading and then playing professor, you're going to watch the video versions of the lectures and the supplemental materials here that I host on YouTube. And there are also PDF versions of the video lectures to help with the note taking process. In week one, we have photography one and photography two. I'll show you where the response papers are at the very end of the PDF lectures. And this will be every week that we have a lecture and a response paper. You'll find the assigned film. Let me truck through this. Photography one, assigned film is Sunset Boulevard. And then the response questions here, you're gonna choose one. And when I get to the support materials, it's gonna go over everything that's expected in this assignment. For photography two, we also have a choice of a film and a set of response papers to choose from. Rabbit Proof Fence is the choice for photography two and the response questions for rabbit proof fence. Returning to the weekly module, to get to the support materials using the toggle arrow after you're at the lecture. Of course, you're gonna watch the assigned film before you sit down to write your paper. The support materials tab will appear in every weekly module that we have a, an assignment. And so you'll see right here, response, paper, support materials. If we return to the table of contents, another way that you can access the support materials is by clicking directly on the tab. I'll go over the items here. You'll see a video version of writing critically about film and then also a PDF version. Same information, just two different ways to engage with it. I'll let you read this on your own, but this contains really important information. It uses the response question for Sunset Boulevard question one and goes over how you could set about taking notes and starting to put some of your thoughts onto paper. The second, the second item is a tips and expectation sheet. Really important, this 10 item checklist is really 
what I'm looking at for the basic ins and outs. Are you using the proper format? Are you writing in the proper tense? Is your paper proofread, et cetera? So be sure to take a peek at this, I would say weekly before you submit your paper. A sample response paper, what a response paper should look like in form and content. Remember, we're writing in MLA format here. Some weeks there will be videos that pertain to a film and its response question. In week one, we do have a presentation for Rabbit Proof Fence. Let's take a peek in week two. You'll find the same resources in the same order. And in week two, there is a presentation that helps with the response question for the graduate. And not to get too bogged down in opening every module for you here, but just to show you that best practices will put the same information in the same place from week to week. And I do think that it's important to look at them weekly for um, all of the information that's contained. And, and again, sometimes you'll get direct information for a particular film. One last thing before I go, I actually have to quickly pop in here and impersonate a student so that I can have the same view that you will have when, you, when you're looking at D2L. I have all of the support materials for response papers quick linked right here in the assignment folder. When you open the assignment folder on D2L, I know it's tempting just to you know, zip down to the area where you submit your paper, but spend a little bit of time here looking over this information and you'll find right here that the support materials for week one are linked. So if you click on that, it's gonna take you right back to the support materials tab for week one that we looked at. So we can peek at week two since it's open. So again, before you truck down, and there is a rubric here that I use when I'm scoring your paper. You click right here, and it's gonna redirect you back to those support materials that we looked at for week two. I understand it can be a bit overwhelming in an accelerated class because we do dive right in. And I hope that this instructional video has been helpful. And I thank you for watching.